Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, geography, economics, and many more subjects. Today in mathematics, we are going to go into factorization of algebraic expressions. In the last lesson, we went into introduction of algebraic expressions. We studied how to um, expand algebraic expressions. Today we'll go into factorization of algebraic expressions. Now take for example um, an expression of the form 7x minus 2xa. Let's, let's take an example like this 7x minus 2xa. Now, let's look at this element. The first one is 7x and the second one is minus 2xe. Now, you will notice that x is common to both element. x is common to both element. So, x is a factor of the, of, of the two elements. So, in that case, we're going to bring x out like this and draw a bracket and then 7 minus 2a such that when you multiply this x by this 7 you have 7x when you multiply minus 2a times x you have 2xa so that is example number one now let's go to example number two supposing we have an expression of the form 3d plus 5x plus 2d. Supposing we have an expression of the form 3d plus 5x plus 2d. Okay, now you will notice that here we have like terms. The 3d and the 2d are called like terms. So let's add up the like terms together. 3d plus 2d plus 5x okay now 3d plus 2d is equal to 5d plus 5x now we can still also we can still proceed to factorize this expression we can still proceed to factorize this expression like this you will notice that 5 is common to the two elements that we have here you have 5d here and then here you have 5x so we can bring out of the bracket 5 into d plus x and then we we'll close the bracket such that when you multiply this 5 by this d you get 5d and when you multiply this 5 by this x you get 5x all right, that's example number two. Let's go to example number three now. Example number three, you have 2x plus 4 into x plus 3c. Okay, 2x plus 4 into bracket open and close x plus 3c. All right, the first thing you would do here is to let's add up or multiply out this bracket let's multiply out this bracket so you now have 2x plus 4 times x gives you 4x now 4 times plus 3c will give you plus 12c okay now let's add up the like terms the 2x and the 4x are like term now 2x plus 4x is equal to 6x plus 12c okay so you have 6x plus 12c now 6 can go into 12 6 can be a factor of 12 so we can also write it this way 6 into brackets x plus 2c 6 into bracket x plus 2c such that 
when you multiply this 6 by this x, you have 6x. When you multiply this 6 by plus 2c, you have 12c. Now let's go to example number 4. All right, example 4 now. Example 4 says 5 into 2ax minus a bracket close plus 3 bracket open ax plus a bracket close. In this kind of expression, the first thing you do is to multiply out the bracket. For example, you multiply this 5 by all the elements in the bracket. You multiply these 3 by all the elements in the bracket. So let's multiply it out. 5 times 2ax is equal to 10ax. 5 times minus a is equal to minus 5a. Okay, now plus 3 times ax is equal to plus 3ax. And plus 3 times plus a is equal to plus 3a. Alright, the next thing we're going to do now is to bring the like terms together. For example, 10ax and 3ax are like terms. 5a and 3a are also like terms. Take, for example, we now have 10ax plus 3ax minus 5a plus 3a. So 10ax plus 3ax is equal to 13ax. Then minus 5a plus 3a is equal to minus 2a. Finally, you have 13ax minus 2a. You will notice also notice that within this element, a is common to both of them. So you now bring a outside the bracket into 13x minus 2. Final answer. All right, example 5 now. Uh, example 5 says that 4x factorize 4x plus 28ay minus 7a minus 16xy. 16xy. Factorize 4x plus 28ay minus 7a minus 16xy. So the first thing you do is to regroup this element in this algebra. You bring the like terms together. For example, you have 4x minus 16xy then minus 7a minus 28ay okay this is called regrouping now in this regrouping you have to arrange the element in such a way that it will be easier for you to factorize okay using both the letters and the numbers now let's proceed for me to show you what i'm talking about now take for example you have 4x minus 16xy okay now in the case of this one now i can factorize it like this 4x into 1 minus 4y okay such that if i multiply this 4x by 1 i get 4x and if I multiply 4x by 4y, I get 16xy. I get 16xy. Similarly, here now, I can have minus 7a outside the bracket. And I have 1 minus 4y. Such that minus 7a times 1, you get minus 7a. And minus 7a times minus 4y, is, it will give you plus 28 and that is what we actually have here now when you multiply minus 7a by 1 you have minus 7a and when you multiply minus 7a by minus 4y you get plus 28 ay 
okay now that we have the elements in the bracket are the same so the final factorization element now is going to be 4x minus 7a bracket open and close into 1 minus 4y that's the final answer so that's all for this lesson for today thank you very much for watching god bless you and then um, just like i always tell my students make sure you rehearse get a very good test book and practice as much as possible and i um, mean that way you will be able to comprehend and then become good in mathematics thank you very much for watching and god bless you